Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10, specifically if you're encountering a media creation tool error. But before we get into that, if you guys are interested in your own copy of Windows 10 or Windows 11 or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for the purpose of demonstration, I am running Windows on my Mac and I'm actually running Windows 11. So a little bit of a strange setup, but all of the steps and processes that you need to go from Windows 7 to Windows 10, I'm gonna show you in this video. So the very first step is to update your Windows and we can do that by pulling up our control panel. If you're on Windows 7, your Windows update will be in the control panel. For me, it's not there. But if you go to the update, it's more than likely you're gonna be encountering some kind of error. So let me quickly show you how to fix this error. So the first thing that we're gonna to do to fix this is go to the Windows icon. We're gonna type services and we're gonna open this up. And then we're gonna scroll down to Windows and we're gonna start on this one here. It says Windows Event Collector. You can also search for it at the top. And we're gonna right click on this and click Properties. And then in startup type, we're gonna change this to automatic and we're gonna press start. And then we're gonna press apply and we'll press okay. We're gonna do the same thing on the one right below it called Windows Event Log. Right click, properties, it's already on automatic, so we're good, we'll press okay. And lastly, we're gonna do Windows Update. Right click on that, properties, change to automatic, press start, press apply and press okay. And there's one more thing that we have to do. We're gonna go to our C drive. So we'll open our file explorer, click on our local disk C drive. We're gonna open the folder that says Windows. And we're looking for a folder called Software Distribution. So I'll scroll down a little bit. Here it is. We're gonna open this up. We'll press Control A to select everything that's in here. And we're gonna right click and press Delete. And you can just press Skip on the ones that it didn't get. And there we go. Now at this point, we can download the media creation tool for Windows 10. We're gonna start by going to aka.ms slash download Windows 10. And where it says create Windows 10 installation media, press download now. Now we've got two more downloads to make before we can start trying to update to Windows 10. So what we need to do is we need to enable TLS 1.1 and 1.2 protocols. And we can do this in our registry edit, but it's quite a complicated process. So Microsoft actually has an easy fix software that'll do it for us. So we're gonna download that and we're also gonna download the Windows 7 64-bit update that we need. So here where it says method two, Windows update catalog, I'm gonna open this in a new tab. And then where it says the update for Windows 7 for 64-based systems, right here, we want this file. We're gonna press download. We're gonna right click and we're gonna press save link as and we'll just keep it in our downloads folder and we'll press save okay we're gonna go back to this article right here again we'll have this link in the description for you guys and we're gonna scroll down to where it says easy fix and we'll click here to download all right so we've got all our files downloaded I'm gonna minimize this and put everything on the desktop so it's all in one place so there's the easy fix, media creation tool, and then I'm gonna drag that package update as well to the desktop. All right, so we've got our three files right here. And the first thing that we're gonna do is run this easy fix software. So we'll double click this. We'll follow along with the setup wizard. So we'll press I agree, press next. So it's not gonna let me run easy fix since again, I'm currently on Windows 11, but if you follow the setup wizard and press run, it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna install those protocols and then you're done with that. Now the next step is to make sure that you have this update installed. So we'll double click on this guy. Again, I'm getting the same message, but you wanna make sure that you have this update installed. You might get a message that says you already have it installed and in that case, you are good to go. All right, now once we've done all these steps, we're now gonna run the media creation tool. We'll press yes. And now you should successfully be able to follow this setup wizard and install Windows 10. Now I'm not gonna do that in this case because again, I'm on Windows 11, I don't wanna go back to 10. 
But if you guys have any questions about any parts of this process, drop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in your own copy of Windows 10 or Windows 11 or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.